today let us learn about the personal protective equipments personal protective equipments are equipments that we use as a barrier between the staff and the patient to prevent the spread of the infection either from staff staff to patient or from patient to staff right to protect ourselves and to protect the patient from the spreading of infection from the spreading of infection so there are many personal protective equipments let us see from top to bottom in sequence wise on the head what we have to wear head cap on the head we use head cap what is the purpose of head wearing head cap while like doing the surgery to prevent this hair fall into the field of surgery or otherwise while we are doing the surgical procedure to prevent this hair goes and falls in the surgical field or otherwise the another function is to prevent the spillage of the body fluids on our hair directly three main functions that are in the theater or in the surgical procedure to prevent hair fall into the surgical field one function and the second function is to prevent the spillage of the patient's body fluid directly onto our hair is the second point and third point is to give the neat look in the during the duty hours next one is what is the next part we have eyes next thing that we hear on the eyes is goggles or eye glass eye glass we can call it goggles or eye glass so what is the purpose of wearing eye glasses to prevent the spillage of the infectious material or sharp objects poking into the eye directly from the field of operation or preventing the microorganism to directly entering into the mucus of the or conjunctiva of the or eye glasses are used for what to prevent direct spillage of body fluids into eye one function and to prevent sharp needles or sharp objects to directly come and hit our eye second function what is the next one mask mask are two types mask shield mask shield mask and face mask two types of masks are the shield mask and face mask shield mask you all know that during the covid 19 we used all of the almost almost all people they used the shield mask the shield mask is nothing but along with the mask a thin transparent cover comes which also covers eyes which also covers eyes to prevent the spillage of the infectious material we use especially in the operation theater during the hiv hvss case because hiv and hvss cases are more contagious means more infectious that is the reason during the aids operations or uh, aids persons operations are hvss hepatitis b persons operation we do use this shield mask however after bringing the ppe kit i will show you each and everything okay and face mask you all know face mask what is the function of the face mask to prevent the droplet infection to prevent the droplet infection we use the face mask in the society but in the operation theater we use the face mask to prevent the spillage of the body fluids into our on our face to prevent the spillage of the body fluids on our face and also as a protective barrier we use this one to prevent the droplet infection while when we cough or when we sneeze sneeze or when the patient coughs or when the patient sneezes there is a less chances of these microorganism to penetrate through this mask and cause the disease condition it is a barrier to prevent the droplet infection the next one is gown
Wearing PP is called as Dongi. D O N N I N G. Dongi or Dongi. Removing is called as Duffing. Duffing of PP. Wearing PP is called as Dongi. The how to don the PP is they may ask what is the sequence and how to duff the sequence. Explain the duffing sequence of the PPEs. They may ask you in that type of questions. Next one is gown. In case of major operations, we should wear the first pair of glove and pick up and wear the gown. But in case of minor surgeries or aseptic procedures, you have to do means you have to. Wear first gown, next glove we have to wear. Then how we have to wear gown? We have to touch inner side of the gown and pick out and unfold it and insert our hands into the gown. We should not touch the gown anywhere. We should not touch the gown anywhere except the inner collar side. We have to pick the gown, make it unfold and wear it. And ask other person to, or circulating person to, tie the gown back side. This is how we have to wear the gown. And the gown is having hands, full hands, right? So these, our fingers should not be exposed because with that gown hand only we have to pick out the glove and wear it. If I explain you in this way, you cannot. Get the clear picture. Once I show you in demography, then you can understand what exactly it is, right? And next, what is the function of gowning? You all know to protect our clothing, to get wetting, and also to protect the spillage of the body fluids in, you know, on our garments and to protect ourselves from the exposure to the body fluids, right? Gown function is to protect our our body from the spillage of the body fluids. And to protect us, or our clothes, our garments to get spoiled. Two main functions are there: the gown. Next one is glove. Or gloves. Next one is gloves. After wearing gloves, what will you have to wear? Sorry, after wearing gown, what we have to wear? Gloves we have to wear. The first gloves we have to pick up. May means like with the undominated hand, we have to pick the half of the glove without touching inside of the glove and inside insert the dominated hand into the glove and adjust it. After wearing with the dominated hand, the dominated hand is nothing but right hand. Most of the people are having dominated hand as right hand only, right? And afterwards, take the glove by inserting our hand into the cuff inside and wear it to the other hand or to on the undominated hand. After wearing on your dominated hand, you have to wear to the undominated hand. Wearing gloves also important. They will check you how you wear, right? And while removing glove, you should not touch anywhere except pick the cuff and pull it up and remove the first glove. After removing, hold it just like that only that glove in your hand and insert this finger, remove uh, uh, glove finger into the. Inside of the glove and lift it up and peel it off and throw it in the ready dustbin because by that we are not touching anywhere on the glove. By that we avoid contamination of our own hands with the blood or body fluids. And glove function is to prevent direct exposure to the blood and body fluids and to serve the sterile field right while we are giving the while we are doing the surgical dressing can we go directly with our bare hand after having hand wash and do the surgery 
can you touch directly blood or is it really like a sterile procedure can we consider that is a sterile procedure no even though after we are having hand wash there are still microorganisms because that is sent to the sterile process right that is just a disinfectant process just we removed the number of the microorganisms right but not all the microorganisms to avoid that one we are using sterile gloves sterile gloves to attempt sterile dressing doing sterile dressing or operation that is the purpose of gloves to give sterility during the procedure or to prevent direct exposure of the bed and blood and body fluids to our hands right next one is shoe cover shoe covers see we do use these shoe covers to prevent the spill of the body fluids on our feet to prevent body fluids spillage on our feet we use shoe covers let us learn the sequence of dummy ppes how we have to wear the first and the foremost thing that we have to do is what shoe cover we are shoe cover well okay shoes cover we use shoes cover before like this. for example i am going to assist for a surgery what i will do so first i will wear a shoe cover and we are a disposable mask but not the sterile mask okay disposable mask once i go to the operation theater i should wear a another set of the mask and go and scrub for the surgery after scrubbing what i'll have to do we are the first set of glove because i'm going to the neuro operation or otherwise if i'm going to the minor procedures or sterile procedures what i should wear i should wear gown if in case of major surgeries major surgeries then glove comes first the first pair of glove comes in case of minor surgeries or minor procedures gown i have to wear first even before gown nowadays what is happening along with the ppe kit personal protective equipment kit is available in the market nowadays right so in that same kit masks are available the masks sterile masks are available in that case what we have to do ask the scrub nurse the first scrub nurse to give the mask then we we'll have to pick the mask with the gloved hand and give to the circulating nurse to tie it back okay now let us see about the donning of the sequence of the donning of the personal protective equipments first we wear head cap after head cap we wear shoe cover head cap and shoe covers these are all the unsterile things and even mask also unsterile thing and after wearing mask wearing the eye glasses or goggles or shield mask whatever you want we can wear shield mask after that after once we have go and have hand wash and come back from the hand wash we pick the gown and wear the gown after wearing gown we wear glove this is the sequence of the simple sequence of donning the personal protective equipments what is first head cap next shoe covers mask or shield mask goggles and gown and glove if you want to come in a systematic sequence means we can say that first cap goggles mask then shoe cover next after having hand wash gown and gloves the sequence of removing the personal protective equipment is called as duffing or removing the removing ppe in a sequence sequence 
The first and the foremost sequence is hold your mask with the gloved hand only. Hold your mask and ask somebody to release the tie back of you. Or otherwise you can just forcefully pull it and throw it in a general dustbin. Up or which, sorry, uh, yellow dustbin. Yellow dustbin, why? Because the mask is exposed to our respiratory products, right? It goes to the yellow dustbin. After that, what we have to do is, what is the one? What is the next thing? We have to remove the head cap. But in general, I am, uh, I am explaining you, but in case of in operation theatre, we won't actually remove the head cap. Okay, so remove the head cap. After removing the head cap and remove your shoe covers. After removing shoe covers, remove your gown. Do not touch the inside now. When you are donning the gown, you have to touch only inside, right? Now, outside, you have to hold the gown outside. Ask somebody to release your gown tie. Then, Pull it out and slowly remove your hands and fold from inside to out. Fold from inside to out by that you are preventing out layer touching or uh, the body fluid exposed layer is touching your body. Right, understood? Pull it out and remove the hands and fold it up, throw it in the laundry bag. Next thing is the last and final thing that we have to remove is the glove. Last. How we have to remove? Do not touch the again inside of the glove. Hold the cuff of the glove. Pick it, uh, like lift it up and remove it. Let this glove be in your hand or you are undominated. And now, hold, like push this your finger, index finger into the cuff of the another hand and remove it and throw it in the now is there any contact of the body fluids on your body no because that is how we have to remove our personal protective equipment so this is the sequence of duffing the PPEs remove the mask and goggles at a time remove the head cap shoe covers and gown and glove the last one we have to remove is the glove. After removing glove, we should not touch any used PPEs. After removing glove, we should not touch any PPE, used PPEs to avoid cross infection.